Today would have been Sandy Williams 61st birthday. Instead, her life was tragically cut short in a seaplane crash earlier this month. Tonight, the Carl Maxey Center invited people to come together and remember the life of one of Spokane's strongest and most dynamic leaders. Krem 2's Janelle Finch was at the memorial service and she shares now how Williams is being honored and remembered. Tonight, the people who knew and loved Sandy Williams filled the first interstate center for the arts for her memorial. Carl Maxey Center board members, city council members, and close friends talked about Sandy's life, the things she loved, and most importantly, her dedication to being a storyteller and a truth teller. People remembered the special moments they had with Sandy. She was the creator of the Black Lens, executive director of the Carl Maxey Center, and one of the founders of Spokane Community Against Racism. And while people celebrated her accomplishments, people also celebrated her being a loving and listening friend, sister, daughter, and mother. While I knew that this would not be the easiest thing that I've ever done, I didn't realize that it would be something that would actually take my breath away. Carl Maxey and Sandra Williams, two leaders, courageous bookends, to our struggles for civil rights and equity for all members of our Spokane community. And because she is with us, we'll be a little more tenacious in telling the truth. We'll be a little more courageous in moving forward against the odds. And most of all, we'll be a lot more loving to everyone around us. He said, what are we gonna do? And I said, well, let me tell you what we're not going to do. I'm not going to let the black lens die. There was also a moment to highlight Sandy's partner, Patricia Hicks, who also died in the seaplane crash. As we continue to remember Sandy, let's not forget about Pat Hicks because she helped complete Sandy. That she lived um, the things that she believed in. And this earth and where we live at was something that she really loved. Between speakers, there were also dedications of dance, song, and praise. There were several standing ovations throughout the night as people celebrated the many facets of Sandy Williams. Speakers talked to the immense work that Sandy has done for Spokane. And even despite the work that she already had on her plate, she still had more that she wanted to get done. So speakers told people in the audience and those watching to use their emotions as fuel to help continue Sandy's efforts in creating a better and more equitable Spokane. In Spokane, Janelle Finch, Crumpsy News.